Hello, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, I'm answering the question, is Squarespace the SEO the only thing I do to market my online business? So in other words, what other online marketing strategies, if any, do I use for my online business? And in case we haven't met yet, then like, hello, I'm Charlotte. I'm a Squarespace SEO expert. And people often want to know, am I a one trick pony? Is Squarespace SEO the only thing that I do? Or do I branch out? And if so, why? And I think this is a really cool question to answer because personally for me, I like love hearing what other business owners are doing. I like to know what strategies they're using, why, why they choose to do certain things versus why they choose not to. Um, and so I'm so excited to be answering that question with you today so that you can see a little bit more insight into the way that I run my own business, the choices I make, and then also see what could work for you and your own business. So we are going to answer that question. But before we do, I wanted to, let me just share my screen here, let you know that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist. And if you're here watching this video, you're probably interested in Squarespace SEO. And in that case, this Squarespace SEO checklist is absolutely for you. So whether you are just starting out with Squarespace SEO, or maybe you've been at this like a little while, but you want to make sure that you have not forgotten anything, you haven't left anything out, then grab a copy of this Squarespace SEO checklist. I've linked to it down below. It's like totally free, but it will basically give you a really thorough overview of all the different factors for Squarespace SEO and how you can apply it to your own Squarespace website. So grab a copy of this Squarespace SEO checklist and thank me later once you've got it. But now let's go into actually answering the question, the topic of today's vid video which is, is Squarespace SEO the only tool I use to market my business online? And the answer to that question is no. No, it is not the only way that I market my business online. It is absolutely one of them. And Squarespace SEO is probably my most effective way of marketing my business, but it's not the only. And so I wanted to kind of talk that through with you and point out a few different things about like what I do and why and explain that process a little bit more. Okay. So the first thing that I should say is Squarespace SEO is kind of the number one thing that I do. So I make a big point on my website of optimizing my sales pages, my product pages, my blog posts, like any page that I create on my website, I want to make sure that it is as good as it can possibly be for Squarespace SEO. And I mean, this makes sense too, because if you think about it, if someone is going to Google and they're typing in like help with Squarespace SEO or like Squarespace SEO tools or tips or like, I don't know, whatever kind of thing, then I want them to find my website in the search results, right? Like, duh, if I'm trying to, you know, sell and market my services doing Squarespace SEO, then I need to show people that it, it is working. Like, of course, that is just the most obvious thing, right? Because if let's say I didn't have any traction online and I'm trying to be like, Squarespace SEO, let them come over here, then obviously it's not going to work. And so, yeah, I make a really big point of optimizing, like I said, the pages, the services pages, the product pages for my digital products, the, um, the blog posts that I have, um, any, basically any piece of content that I'm putting out on my website, I do my utmost to make sure that it is optimized for SEO so that I can do well in it because my success with Squarespace SEO is kind of my biggest um, indicator of like, you know, business. I, I don't even know what you call it, like trust, competency, like proof, all of those sorts of things, right? So yeah, Squarespace SEO is the kind of the biggest thing. Then another way that I market my online business is through my YouTube channel. So if you're watching this video, it's either you're watching it directly on YouTube, or you're watching it embedded in one of my blog posts, right? And that is a really big thing that I do for, for not only like SEO, right? Because a video is help. It's really helpful for me to like have video content. It puts me in front of a new audience online. It helps my blog post rank higher. Like, so I do it because it's a factor of SEO in kind of like a roundabout way. But more importantly too, is that when people watch my YouTube videos, it is a really good way to kind of like build a connection with me. It builds that like, know, and trust factor, which in turn is really helpful for getting people to 
sign up for my services, purchase my products, like join one of my programs, like my signature program, Top Squarespace SEO, right? Like if you've watched some of my YouTube videos and stuff, you kind of get a feel for like who I am, how I do things. And then it will, again, it's like a vote of confidence for people who are like, I want to take this a little bit further and like work with Charlotte or learn from her in a different way. So YouTube is a really big thing. Again, I'm not out here. I mean, this should be obvious, but like, I'm not out here trying to become a like YouTube content creator, right? Like that's not my goal, but it's more so to facilitate um, the different services that I offer and help build the like know and trust factor. And so, yeah, whether it's like the YouTube content that I'm creating or um, the blog posts, the SEO stuff on my website, all of that kind of goes in hand in hand. And then the third way that I, you know, market my business online, I'd say, is through email marketing. And I am a huge fan of email marketing. My general kind of like plan plan of attack, I guess, is like build really good content on my website. So through like the website, the blog, you know, whatever kind of thing supported by YouTube, and then encourage people to join my email list. And you would have seen it here even in this video where I'm like, hey, get a free copy of my Squarespace SEO checklist or something, right? So like I mention it in all of my videos. I mention it in my blog posts. It's many places around my website. And that's one of the ways that I get people to join my email list. And then once they're on my email list, this is how I not only like develop a relationship with them. I like nurture that relationship. I share really valuable content. I can promote my services, sell my products. You know, anytime I have another round of, top Squarespace SEO that opens up like a couple times a year, then th the number one way that I sell it is through my email list. Like email is chef's kiss. And like, I also just really like it. It's so much fun for me to do email marketing. I kind of like really have a, I enjoy it. I like kind of, you know, shooting the shit with people and like, that sounds so funny to say, but you know, the, the way that I do email marketing is not just kind of like greetings like doo -doo 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 -doo, right like in fact it's not corporate it's it's really like I let my personality shine through I like have fun with it like I mentioned and um yeah that is a massive massive way that I market my business and um if you're kind of on the fence about like should I get into email marketing yes like absolutely to me the process or like the kind of the plan I have of like going hard with Squarespace SEO for like the website and all of that sort of stuff. And then nurturing and continuing to interact with people through my email list is like, that works super well for me. Some people choose other routes, which we might talk about in a few minutes, but this one is, that is absolutely the process that works well for me. Okay. Um, another thing that I thought is worth bringing up too is pitching, because that is something that some people, um, have some feelings about basically. And I will just say right off the bat, yes, I pitch my services. Um, it's not something I do all the time anymore, but it is something that, especially when I was like starting out in my business, or even now, if there's like a certain client or type of client that I like really want to work with, and I know I can help them or something, then pitching my services directly to them um, has been fantastic for me. And again, like when if you're ever interested in pitching, one of the best things I can say about it is that like, yes, you have to deal. <laughs> yes, like obviously you're going to deal with a lot of rejection, a lot of like no's or not now's or something. However, one of the cool things about if you pitch your services or your products or whatever is that it shortens the kind of like the time it takes from someone to discover you, learn about you, decide they want to work with you, and then ultimately like hire you or buy from you or something. And so in my experience, when I have kind of gone down the pitching route, it's really cool because again, I can say, hey, this is exactly the kind of like client I want to work with, the person I want in my program, like whatever. And you reach out to them being like, hey, I can offer the solution to your problem. And then from there, it's like, Maybe they haven't thought about it, or maybe they just needed the like push in the right direction to get the ball moving, right? And so, yeah, pitching is fantastic. It's a really like direct way to do marketing for your business. Um, again, it's not something for everyone, but I have used it. Um, I sometimes do still use it, and like it is a great thing for me. Um, so, yeah, that's a, definitely another way that I market my business. And 
Um, if you want to hear a little bit more about that, let me know. And I'm, I can maybe like do another video specifically on pitching. Cause I know there's not like that much content, especially like on YouTube or the blogs and stuff about people who are like pitching their services or their products or whatever. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to learn more about that. But like I said, it's not my like primary marketing source, but it is still something I do and I really like and can get you wonderful results. So pitching is great. Um, one thing that you'll notice that I don't do really is I am not really reliant on social media for my business. And I have a video that I'm going to link to up above that kind of like talks about that a bit more in terms of like how you don't need to do social media in order to have success in your business. Um, one thing I will say is that social media, like whether we're talking like Instagram, YouTube, or sorry, Instagram or TikTok or something like they are amazing platforms and it's fantastic. It's free advertising. Anyone can do it. There's literally no barrier to entry. Um, and the thing is like, it's just not something that I personally enjoy. I don't really like using it, you know, personally. So let alone trying to use it for my Squarespace SEO business. Like it's just, um, it's not where I want to spend my time. It's not like, I'm, I'm just not like a short, form video girly like I don't have an eye for aesthetics or like cute pictures and stuff um so social media for me isn't really a marketing strategy I have put a lot of like time and effort into because again you know like if you're interested in something I really do think that you'll be consistent you'll be disciplined you'll keep going and growing at it if you like it or you're interested in it or if there's some affinity whereas for me personally um, as, like social media does not do that for me. And so no big deal. The great thing is I have other options, as I've mentioned, whether it's like Squarespace SEO, blogging, YouTube, email marketing, pitching, like that's five right there that I can do instead. Um, however, if social media is something that you enjoy, then like go off, truly have fun with it. I don't care. I don't know you. I don't know your brand, your business, your life. Like if you like it, go for it. I'm not telling you not to. I'm just saying, if you don't want to, that's fine. And you, you can still have an amazing business without it. And Squarespace SEO is absolutely one of the marketing options you can use instead. So yeah, that is a quick overview at um, some of the different ways that I market my business. And I hope it answers the question too, that like, no, Squarespace SEO is not the only way that I market my business. It's my primary way obviously, but it's not the only thing I do. Um, but if you are interested in learning more about Squarespace SEO, then take a look at the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel, all the content that I have on my website, whether it's like blog posts, resources, guides, tutorials, like whatever it is, um, take a peek at that and uh, grab a copy of the Squarespace SEO checklist as well. Um, not only will you get the copy of the Squarespace SEO checklist, but then you can also join my email list and see <laughs> what I do on that front and how I market my business. So if you want to just see the approach that I take, that could be a cool thing to follow along with as well. Um, but anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you again soon in the next video.